Okay, other news here tonight. After an almost unprecedented takeover of a juvenile murder case, Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty addresses the media about the move that hurt her case in the hands of the Minnesota Attorney General's office. As our Karen Scullin tells us, Moriarty personally explained her line of thinking on the takeover and the controversial plea deal. The family of 23-year-old murder victim Zaria McKeever angry as they confront Hennepin County Attorney Mary Moriarty for the first time since the murder case was pulled from Moriarty by the governor and given to the Attorney General's office to prosecute. Moriarty furious at both the AG and the governor. Their actions here show that they also don't really believe fully in democracy because they are stopping me from doing the job voters elected me to do. Just a waste of time. She just wanted to say something to save face and feel like the attorney general and the governor um, should not have done what they have done, but we're saying that you shouldn't have done what you have done. Feeling Moriarty never really cared about Zaria, the family is still very upset over the plea deal that would have given the 15-year-old who shot and killed Zaria McKeever two years or less in juvenile prison. Moriarty says her decisions are based on research, considering what's best for the juvenile and what's best for public safety. Science tells us, research tells us, that the act certainly makes a difference in terms of how people feel about the action of the youth. In terms of science, the actual pulling of the trigger or not doesn't uh, reflect on that youth's ability to be rehabilitated. She's running law off science. Science is not the law. Does punishment at all come into Fall this into the plea of for, for killing somebody? We've punished many in our community, including kids, by sending them to prison for extremely long periods of time. In this case, we know very well that hasn't kept us safer. Now, the plea deal that is still in place for now was going to be considered by the juvenile judge here this morning. But with new prosecutors on the case from the AG's office, instead, the judge continued the case until later this month on April the 24th. In Minneapolis, Karen Scullin, Fox 9.